Uh, so this is where we house the majority of our collection. It takes a special kind of person. This is our Chilean rose hair tarantula, or Rosie. To devote their life to bugs. You can say bugs. We won't, yeah, bugs is fine. Corey Brandt. I would definitely say I was a, I'm a bug gal. Loves everything creepy and crawly. We have scorpions, we have tarantulas. Corey is a biologist who spends most of her time in a lab at Butterfly Pavilion. Caring, cleaning, um, managing lots of behavioral observation. Where shelf after shelf is filled with things most people would run from. These are Socotra um, Island blue baboon tarantulas. Most of these creatures come from faraway places, but there's one firefly. I probably say firefly. That surprisingly was found right here. Very shocking for people. Most people who live in Colorado or in the area, they don't even know that we have fireflies. The right biologist knows when and where to look. <gasps> right there. Tonight, that's at a marsh in northern Colorado, right as the sun sets. Gonna be fun. <laughs> Corey and her colleague <laughs> Francisco <laughs> Garcia are hoping to strike gold. Corey, they're everywhere. Oh, it looks great. As darkness falls on the wetland, Hundreds of fireflies begin to emerge. I see one on the floor. A spectacle of light rarely seen in the Rockies. They're lighting up. Using careful nets and gentle hands, the team gets to work. You have who in there? Two boys, one girl? Yeah, and a log for a little snack. <laughs> They're looking for 40 males and 10 females to take back to Butterfly Pavilion. We're just trying to understand more about their life cycle, what makes them happy, so in the long-term goal, we can start helping these populations thrive all over the western United States. The fireflies use flashes to communicate with one another. The males dance through the air, hoping to attract a female below. Insects communicate in so many ways that we may not necessarily be able to pick up on. They're uh, communicating to females, trying to find each other. Bioluminescence which, when is when uh, an animal is producing light. It's just one of the most beautiful um, spectacles on Earth. But this language of light is disappearing. Across the entire United States, we're seeing a huge decline in all firefly populations. There's not a lot of research done on them, which is why this is so important. Excellent. This one is ready then. Corey says these insects provide much more than just a beautiful show. When we start to see their population decline, we kind of know that it's an indicator within our ecosystem that we are missing something, that something is changing drastically, whether that's temperature, whether it's loss of habitat, whether it's a change in water. <gasps> Milady, do you have a lady? Why they love this plot of land remains a mystery. We might not know exactly why this area is so special to them, but that's the whole point. With so many bright spots on a dark night, their cups are quickly filled. And then ready when you're ready. Uh, hold on. Ready. Okay, ready? Now. Yep. Perfect. Ready. With the work done, they take a moment to look around. Oh my God, turn this off. Look how look at your beautiful field. I'm sorry, I keep like making you blind. No, you're not making you blind. I just wow. so we can see. Oh my oh gosh. gosh. This night, the latest step. We're gonna go enjoy them. Towards a brighter future for the Colorado Firefly. Soak up years of work and the years of work to come.